accurate, reliable forecasts. Welcome back to KJCT News 8 at 6 on another beautiful day across the western slope. Right now sitting at 82 degrees with sunny skies. It's now up to 350 acres with mandatory evacuations in place. We have avalanche warnings for the San Juans and Uncompahgre Plateau. Avalanche watches for the central and northern mountains. And that's all of that snow we've seen with the last system and now this system. So I am live from Palisade for the Palisade Peach Festival and people are continuing to file in. We have the ice cream social going on. It's a lesson that Grand Junction has already learned on municipal buildings like here at the Two Rivers Convention Center where they're saving money for the city and the taxpayers. But the rain that's coming down isn't that heavy and it's actually doing more bad than good because we are seeing some outflow winds from these thunderstorms gusting 30 to 40 miles an hour and that's going to fan out the flames even more. Winter weather advisories in effect for the central and northern mountains seeing about 5 to 10 inches of snow. The rest of the high country that is not highlighted could see about 1 to 4 inches of snow. KJCT News H Jason Achu spoke with law enforcement and rescue officials about those dangers. He now joins us live from the river tonight. Jason. That's right, guys. After this weekend's tragic death of a man in the Colorado River, officials want to make sure everyone takes precautions before getting in the water. A big cell moving through, some that heavier red. We could be seeing some hail out there with it as well. Kind of come and go, so it won't be that. Total yeah, rain. it is definitely not a complete washout. Just some isolated and scattered showers across the area, mostly up in the higher elevation. Sure. So should still be a very nice week. Storms and heavy rain yesterday moved slowly across the western slope, dumping several inches of rain in just a few hours. A combination that led to flash flooding across. The area. There was a flood advisory issued uh, just west of Delta, so the small streams and low lying areas uh, in that area could experience some minor flooding. KJCT News Ace Jason Ashley joins us now live from St. Mary's Hospital with more. Jason? That's right, guys. Caleb had been performing in the Winter X Games for years, and like many other athletes, he strived to improve and impress. But tonight, we talked to experts about how far is too far and when do the dangers outweigh the rewards. Ryan suited up in this ice rescue suit in the truck and was ready to go once they got to the river. First Horn 8 weather, accurate, reliable forecasts. Welcome back to KJCT News 8 at 6. And maybe about a week ago, you might have thought that fall was on its way, but summer is back in full force. 95 degrees is our current temperature in Grand Junction right now. Humidity is low, and we've got some light winds out of the west at 8 miles an hour. Similar conditions over in Montrose, 91 degrees is our current temperature, and winds there out of the northwest at 8 miles an hour as well. Uh, 90s for a lot of us across the western slope, 95 degrees in Moab, 91 down in Cortez, a little cooler in the higher elevations, 73 degrees right now in Telluride, 80 in Aspen, and 81 degrees over in Gunnison. But overall, another warm day for us. And on the western slope, not seeing much in terms of that rainfall on First 1 8 Live HD Doppler. Showing not much going on, just a few sprinkles over in the San Juans and some scattered showers and thunderstorms over on the front range. But for the most part, we are seeing these drier conditions and even across the western half of the U.S. Seeing a few showers down in New Mexico and Arizona, even into southern Utah. But that monsoonal moisture isn't going to be making its way into our area for at least another 24 to 48 hours. So we're going to see these drier and warm conditions stick around at least through the first half of this weekend. As we do go through tonight, we'll see those conditions still pretty nice. Uh, mostly clear skies overnight and just a few clouds further to our south and by tomorrow morning starting our day off with mostly sunny skies once again very nice conditions but then as we go through the afternoon we'll see some more clouds move on in and a very slight chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms in the southern half of our viewing area closer to the four corners region and up in the san juans primarily where we could see a very stray shower but for the most part we will be remaining dry at least through the first half of this weekend like i mentioned and on sunday maybe a little bit better of a chance to see some of that rain 60 degrees will be our low temperature in grand junction 54 in montrose 51 in telluride and 66 degrees over in Moab and then for our high temperatures going to be pretty warm once again 95 degrees in Grand Junction 92 in Montrose 92 also in Cortez and further south we have that chance for that isolated shower or thunderstorm but most of us just seeing a few more clouds moving in a mix of sun and clouds but a pretty nice day and a little cooler in Aspen with 84 degrees for our next eight days in Montrose looking pretty nice uh, Sunday through about midweek on Wednesday or Thursday, still having that chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area. Temperatures cooling off just a bit, but still staying in the upper 80s, so we're going to have some warm temperatures for the next week or so. In Grand Junction, those scattered showers and thunderstorms will start moving in on Sunday. A very slight chance, though, so if you are heading out to the Peach Fest, uh, you shouldn't be uh, discouraged by that. Saturday and Sunday still looking pretty nice with those warm temperatures in the mid-90s. Uh, 
Then we'll start to see for the start of the work week, those scattered showers and thunderstorms continue through about Thursday. Temperatures, though, by the end of the week, still staying pretty warm. KJCT News H. Jason Accio explains what's being done to get ready for this summer's wildfires. I think there's a lot of people that think that things are going to be okay this summer, but, but the reality is I think it's going to be another bad summer. Last year's drought brought historic wildfires to our state, including here on the western slope. So this year, the BLM and others are taking proactive measures. What we did today is going to make this area fireproof for years to come, where if there was a wildfire, it wouldn't be as bad and wouldn't have the harmful effects. Fire officials use prescribed burns in the spring on areas that have lots of brush and fuels, like the Grand Mesa. We burned pockets of the vegetation today, and a lot of it didn't burn all the way down to bare mineral soil. So the plants are able to come back a lot easier, where a wildfire will, will kind of burn everything and it'll be moonscaped. Firefighters use special tools and equipment like these to help fight wildfires before they get out of hand. We use a, a drip torch, which is basically um, diesel and, and unleaded gas mixed together in, in a can that these people carry, and they're directed from afar, and they just basically went back and forth walking through the whole unit. That's a technique, and we start up high, uh, work back into the wind. While this spring has brought some relief with rain and storms, Lands End Fire Chief George Kornfeld says it's creating false hope for a calmer wildfire season. This year we've had all this nice rain, which is just great, except for, you know, for now we don't have to worry about fires, but here shortly it's going to dry out and it's going to be probably even worse than ever because we'll have more stuff growing that wasn't growing earlier. A lot of our area is the urban wildland interface <laughs> and, and that's where we have a lot of brush areas, especially out on the redlands. Um, where residential structures are also at risk with those, with those wildland fires. That's why Grand Junction firefighters are cross-trained in wildfires and structural protection. But that doesn't mean they can do it alone. There are steps you can take too. Fire officials say to clear out all the brush like this from around your home before the end of open burn season. We live in a, an area that has lots of wildfires and we're going to have wildfires this summer and it's important that folks be ready. Reporting in Mesa County, Jason Achu. KJCT News 8.